I'm gonna play Teemo for 10 hours because I enjoy other people's suffering. Teemo is currently one of the worst top laners in the game and I wanna find out why. Anyway, let's see if I can go from Plat 2 to Emerald in 10 hours. First, I decided to look up the most common runes and items for Teemo and here's what I found. Usually you go Nasher's Tooth, Rift Maker, and then three flexible items. However, if the enemy team is tanky, you go Nasher's Tooth into Leandre's and Demonic Embrace for max HP damage, and then two flexible items. Last, the primary rune is usually press the attack, but if you're against someone tanky that you'll never kill, you can go Grasp or Fleet Footwork for some extra sustain in lane. My first game started off fine, I guess. I overestimated my damage a little bit because I forgot most of my damages over time, but luckily I managed to go one for one with Orn. Later, I underestimated how squishy I was and died to Orn's ult for no reason. I'm gonna call that a rookie mistake though. Luckily, I made up for this by blinding Orn in our next fight right before he got his empowered auto, which won me the fight. A little later, Orn tried to proxy my wave for some reason and I easily kill him again. Not even worried for a second, by the way. After that, we won a fight at Baron, which allowed me to split push. Then while split pushing, I got my first fade away shroom kill, which was pretty exciting. And a few minutes later, we won the game. My next game was not so lucky. <laughs> first, there was a failed gank where I burned flash and ignite trying to secure a kill. And then a few minutes later, I got Tower Dove, which was super frustrating because if I'd still had my Flash and Ignite, I probably would have lived and gotten a kill. He's not dead! I also canceled an auto that probably would have killed Gangplank, and having to watch it over and over again for editing reasons is so tilting. Anyway, a little later, I get baited into thinking I can kill Gangplank because he stepped on a shroom. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. But then I get exploded by his barrels. Then I die again to Gangplank in a bush, and a little later, we end up losing the game. This game was particularly tilting, not because I died a lot, but because if I had played a few fights a little better, the game could have been completely different. The next game was against a Singed, it was your typical Toxic versus even more Toxic matchup. Things started off a little closer than I had hoped, I barely killed Singed because he took a tower shot. A little later he just decided to die again I guess. Then Singed just ran at me again and I secured a kill with my perfectly placed Shroom. But then out of nowhere he actually could just run at me, but it's okay, I hadn't upgraded my boots yet, that won't happen again. Oh come on, this is ridiculous! I really thought baiting him into my shrooms was genius, but Singed was just too fast. I then got a tower and tried to run away, but ended up trading one for one with Viego, which was fine. Later in the game, I got one of the famous shroom kills on this poor Senna who was just trying to ward Baron. It was magnificent. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. That is beautiful. Anyway, we won this game pretty hard. And after my first two hours, I learned two things. Shrooms are awesome, and I am very squishy. Now based on my first games, I've clearly already mastered Teemo, but might as well check out some guides just in case. I started with a 3 minute Teemo guide to learn the basics. Then I watched all of Pienta's Tenmo to Master series because it's honestly what made me want to play Teemo in the first place. Was it educational? No, but it was definitely entertaining and I did learn a few things. First, save your Q to block empowered autos. Second, if a melee champion engages on you, place shrooms at your feet for extra slows. And third, split push as much as you can, but try to show up early for objectives to set up your shrooms. My next game was another disappointing laning phase. In this first fight, if I saved my blind until after Kled dismounted, I probably would have lived. Am I dead, really? Luckily, in the next fight, I did save my blind for after his dismount and barely got the kill. Right? Oh shit! Never mind, we got him. There was then a fight in the river which we lost pretty bad, but I did manage to get a kill with my shroom. Then, Zed decided to waste his ignite on me, which was nice, I guess. I then wasted my blind too early again and got dope. Seriously, if you're playing Teemo, do not just throw out your Q for extra damage. You might need it for an important engage. Then Kled overstays and Sejuani and I kill him. This time I used my Q correctly and actually saved Sejuani and got the kill. Anyway, this game was a bit of a team diff because Yon ended up getting a pentakill and the enemy team just kind of surrendered. The next game I got destroyed because Rumble just did way more damage than I expected. 
After this, I learned two things about matchups with good poke. Go second wind in my runes to help me sustain in lane, and go Doran's shield in lane to help me sustain in lane. The next game was a total disaster after a bad level 1 fight. I wasted ignite trying to kill a Kled, and then wasted flash trying to escape. And with both summons down, laning was going to suck. What a disaster. And suck it did! Without flash or ignite, I got ganked right away and the lane was kind of over after that. In my defense, we knew Diana was pathing top because we saw her when Kha'Zix invaded. So I wanted a 2v1 her with Ka after I crashed the wave, but instead he just left me in a terrible lane state and then pinged me as I died. Like, he could have prevented this! Anyway, a few minutes later, we actually make the exact play I wanted to at level 3 and we kill Diana, get Rift Herald, kill Kled, and get Tower Plates. A little later, I take the top tower, barely 1v1 Kled right before he mounts up again, and eventually take the second top tower. Unfortunately, the game was completely lost after a bad dragon fight. First, I hit a massive shroom and Silas refuses to go in. Then Silas decides he's bored or whatever and goes mid, so the enemy team just engages because we have no frontline, we lose the fight, and then lose the game. Definitely a very tilting game. At this point, things really started to look up. I got an early kill on Talon doing some parkour. Then Kane ganks and I get another kill. We then won a big fight mid, even though Azir and Rakan made it impossible for me to move. In the end, we win a big fight around Baron, and even though it doesn't look like I did much, they were all chunked from shrooms I had placed earlier. The next game also starts off super well. Orn walks into a shroom right as Diana is ganking, and I get an assist. Later, I died when Wukong and Orn tower dove me, but I did manage to kill Orn. Then I almost killed Wukong, but he used his no, sweeper at the last second to dodge no. the shroom. A little later, my team was losing a fight, but Diana and Bard had two crazy ultimates, and even though we only got two kills, that fight could have been a disaster. Then we fought a 3v5 while Diana split pushed bot, because we're idiots, I guess, and the enemy team shut down our fed Kaisa. Then, after the fight, I saw a low HP Aryan thought, is this fight winnable? Nah, let's just recall. After that, we kind of just ran them down because we were super far ahead. My next game started out great. I killed the Graves early by making him think I had backed and surprised him from the bush. Then Nocturne and Graves dove me, but I still managed to get a kill. Next, I got a kill around Dragon and then immediately back to kill the MF who was split pushing top. In the end, this game was kind of a stomp too. I kept this momentum going after an early kill on Tom Kent after he made a sick flash, but died right after to a Zerath who ulted while I was pushing the wave. Then my Zyra jungle and I tried to dive Tom Kench, and things ended up pretty close. Overall, the game was 24 to 9, and we kind of just ran them down and won the game. But unfortunately, this is where my games start to take a bit of a turn. My next game started with me dying to Yone. I thought with my blind I was safe even if he went in, but he did a lot more damage than I expected. Then he dove me under tower, and even though my poison and ignite killed him, I still lost a lot of minions and fell really far behind. I then got ganked by the support Blitzcrank. I thought my shrooms would be enough to protect me, but Blitzcrank did not care and just ran right through them. And then Blitzcrank ganked me again, even though I was probably already dead this time. Also, I don't normally play against Yones, so I had no idea he could cover that much distance that quickly. Anyway, a little later, I decided to set up a little trap for the Yone. You see, I knew he wanted this tower, so as soon as he went in, I blinded him so he couldn't hit it, and in a panic, he started hitting me. Now, with the tower still up, he would finally die. This was it! Fuck! Luckily, with the Blitzcrank spending so much time top, my bot lane was pretty far ahead, so we had a win condition. Sadly, a little later we started losing Yoink. a big team fight in the enemy jungle. But just when I thought all hope was lost, Kennen decided to go god mode, killing everyone and somehow living. In the end, we won a fight at Baron and we won the game. I did not deserve to win this game though, I got completely shit on and I will never underestimate a Yone again. Unfortunately, the next game was not much better. It started with me getting ganked before 3 minutes and without TP I lost a lot of EXP getting back to lane. To make matters worse, apparently Teemo is one of the worst picks against Nasus because he can out-sustain my poke damage and once he hits 6, he can kinda just run me down. 
Later, my team ganked Nasus and we killed him, which gave me a little bit of time to catch up. I then barely killed Nasus when he tried to dive me, and I thought that this would bring me back into the game. In the end, I just did no damage, and I was the main reason we lost this game. I had to watch powerlessly as they marched into our base and destroyed it. At least I got a shroom kill this game. And with that, it all came down to my final game. Everything I had trained so hard for was right in front of me. I had to win this game to even have a chance at getting Emerald. But things did not start off well at all. While I was trying to crash my wave in recall, I got ganked and ended up dying. Then I got ganked a few minutes later, but managed to get a kill before I died. And just when it seemed my lane was doomed, I killed Riven 1v1. And literally seconds later, I killed Talon 2 because he tried to dive me for some reason. And then I killed Riven in a 1v1 Thank again! God. And a little while later, while I was minding my own business top, my Graves decided to get a pentakill at Dragon, and just like that, the game and the challenge were over. And in the end, I did manage to hit Emerald, but at what cost? <laughs> so, is Teemo a terrible champion? Mm, kinda. During this challenge, I went from Plat 2 to Emerald 4, and even though I won most of my games, I still don't think Teemo's that strong. The first issue is Doran's shield and second wind. When people use these against you, especially tanks, you deal like no damage. Also, because you're usually playing aggressive on Teemo, you will get ganked a lot. Let me know what champs you want me to play next in the comments.